Hello traders, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to trade with pure candlestick analysis without drawing SNL level. So let's start. This is Euro GBP and this is OTC market. So I'm going to use only this line as my analysis. Okay, let me use, let me trade without the line. I'm going to place call option because of this strong buyer entry here and the strong rejection from buyer. So the next candle here will be bullish. Buyers are entered, buyers are entry. Strong buyers, strong buyers. The Margozu, I'm going to place put option. I place put option because of this Margozu candle. So buyers will reverse the market. So the sellers will enter the market. going to place put option. I place put option because of this strong rejection from sellers. So sellers again we enter again. That's why I place put option. Strong sellers entry. A new low, I'm going to place put option because of this new low. So sellers again we enter on the next candle. It will be rejected from this level. Strong sellers entry. I'm going to place call option because of this upper rejection in this bullish bearish candle. So and this will be my last trade because of this upper rejection and the buyers movement. Yeah. And this will be my last trip. see the bias enter so right now I have taken five trades on 
candlestick analysis, pure candlestick analysis. I didn't check levels, I didn't draw any SNR levels, I didn't draw any support and resistance levels. So I'm only analyzing the candlestick. So that's why I took the trade here. And I took only five trades here. Okay. You can trade like this also on remarket, but you need to be familiar with the candlestick and you need to be familiar the with the candlestick behavior. So there's a logic here that I apply here. All the trade that I took here, I apply one logic without checking the the SNL level. So I apply one logic and that is the logic I use here. So you can also trade like this when you observe the candles, when you observe the market behaviors in the chart. Okay. So if you want to know about this logic, you should attend my next next class, next uh, course. You should attend my next class. So I will explain to you about this logic, how I trade like this. You can see that I'm using my mouse to trace all the rejections and the body of the candle, how they are close, how they close. You can see that I'm using my mouse, the line on my mouse, I'm using it to trace the candlestick. To follow the candlestick so there's one thing i observe in the candlestick behavior that when they reach a particular level they try to think for some time before they make a next move so that's why i'm using the line i will have used this horizontal line to but i don't want to show you so i will, I will that's why i use the mouse so i will have used this horizontal line shifting my horizontal line be following the candlestick how it move, how it uh, behave in the market. So that's why I don't want to show you. Then I use my mouse. I know some of you will not be able to observe that I'm using the mouse. I'm using the mouse to follow the candlestick. Okay. So right now I place call option here because of that same thing I use, the same logic I use here. So I place call option here because and again. If you know if you analyze the candlestick you also see some possibilities to go with buyers i place call option because of that same logic i use and we can see that the buyers are becoming more powerful buyers make a new high buyers again enter a strong bullish candle buyers again enter a buying pressure so again buyers will enter on the next candle and here i place put option because of this Malbusu. i didn't check the level and i don't know that there's a level here but because of that logic, because of that logic I use here by following the candlestick. So I observed one thing on the candlestick. Then and I noticed that it closed as a Marbuzu candle. So I knew that the sellers will enter on the next candle. That's why I place put option. And here I place put option again because of that, that same logic I use here. And rejection from sellers, a bearish candle, a reversal sign. So I place put option here. And this one, I place put option again because of this new look. And that same logic I use here by following the candlestick uh, movement in motion. So, and I place put option because of this new look. Okay. And here, I place call option because of that same logic I use here. And a upper rejection. This upper rejection tells you that the buyers are present here. Look at it. The buyers rejected the market, the sellers from this level, this rejection, and this can do close here. But because of that same logic I'm using, so I know that the sellers will still go more down. Then buyers again enter the strong buying pressure, strong rejection, and the buyer pressure again enter on the next candle. So I know that the sellers close as here, as a, a bearish candle with rejection from buyers. So I know that the buyers will enter on the next candle. In the direction of this bullish movement that's why i place call option okay you can place your trade like this on remarket not only otc market you can place your trade like this on remarket okay with if you are familiar with the candlestick you can place your trade like this but if you are a new trader you cannot trade like this now you can see that this candle is a is a okay not this one 
Okay, guys, let me stop from here. If you like my video, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.